So in this session, we are going to learn how we can use Grafana to connect to Influx database. If you don't know much about Influx database, Influx database is very popular time series database, which is completely written in Go language and it doesn't have any dependency. So if you are installing InfluxDB, you don't need to install other dependencies. Now about Telegraph. So if a quick introduction about Telegraph. Telegraph is a agent which is used to collect matrix. Okay, it can be matrix related to CPU utilization or it can be related to memory utilization, file system utilization and so on. So there are around some 200 plus matrix which Telegraph can pull and once it pulls all those matrix, it can send all those matrix to one of the data store. So that data store in this case is going to be InfluxDB. Now if you are new to InfluxDB and Telegraph, I will recommend you go on InfluxDB and Telegraph website and read about this. This is a highly in-demand technology when it comes to open sources. And if you already have InfluxDB and Telegraph installed, then you can just go ahead and follow the steps to connect to Grafana with InfluxDB. However, if you do not have InfluxDB and Telegraph installed, so in this series or in this session, I'm also going to talk about installing InfluxDB. Now, if you just scroll down you, here, I have given a link. If you just click on this link, it is going to take you to InfluxDB uh, website. So this is the website from where you can see what is the installation steps for your operating system. And there you can just scroll down and follow the section which is described under installing InfluxDB OSS. And here you can choose the operating system which you are on and then you can follow the steps. Okay. So in this case, I have already copy pasted all these steps which is related to CentOS and I have put here on my article. So now, uh, in terms of architecture, I have three servers on which we are going to install Telegraph. So I'm going to install Telegraph on all these three servers. And then this is the server on which we are going to have InfluxDB installed as well. And this is going to be the same server on which I had already installed Grafana. So in this example, basically I have three servers and three servers are going to have Telegraph one server is going to have InfluxDB and also it is going to have Grafana. Now one thing is uh, if you are also on CentOS you can copy paste entire thing and then let's say we want to install it on uh, this server. Let me clear the screen first and let's also take a note of the IP address of this server. So this server is 10.128.0.4 so uh, first thing is I'm just going to create a temporary script and I will copy paste whatever I have here. Okay, I don't want to run this one by one. I'll just create a script and run all of these at once. So it is just going to quickly uh, finish installing InfluxDB and also going to start it. However, just to give you a quick overview, so lines starting until here is basically doing package configuration or repository configuration you can say and then this is the command which is going to install InfluxDB and then this is the command which is going to start InfluxDB. So let's see this in action. So I'm going to call it influx.sh and I'm going to store it in slash tmp and here I have pasted everything. Okay so now you can just save it and just remember this is a a comment line so I'm just going to press hash and or prefix it with hash and remaining all lines are commands so it is good to go now and I'm just going to save it and now important thing here is you need to run this as a root user okay so either you can run it as a root user or you can use sudo so in my case I have root user access so I'm just going to switch to root by using sudo space su space hyphen okay and then we will do sh and we are going to run slash tmp slash influx dot sh however i need to give permission of execute to this script so i'm just going to change the permission to 755 
and now we should be able to run this so I'm just going to make it and in this case I don't really need to write sudo because I am already switched to root user but if you haven't switched to root user you can type sudo in the beginning and then sh and command which is having all the line of codes which you want to execute okay so in this case I'm just going to write this hit enter and let's see how it is executing it is going to ask for confirmation okay so here you see this is asking for the confirmation that is because when we are doing sudo yum install we are not giving hyphen y if you want to install it silently you can use sudo yum space hyphen y space install influx db anyways in this case I'm just going to select y and hit enter and then it is going to proceed with installing influx db okay so now it is saying it has already completed and now the way to check the status of influx db installation is you can do system ctl status influx db dot service hit enter it is going to show you the status so in this case it is running and we have successfully completed installing influx db now we are going to install telegraph also on this system so the command for that is uh, this so I'm just going to again copy paste everything and going to create another script which is going to be called telegraph.sh okay so that's what the name I have given and again uh, this is the line which you can just comment and let me check if everything was copied properly yes everything is copied properly so we can go back here and in this case I'm just going to make sure there is no empty lines in the beginning because empty lines can create some problems sometimes so I'm removing all the empty lines from the beginning and now we are good to go so again I'm going to change the permission of tele uh, the script which we have created which is telegraph.sh under the temp directory and now we are good to run it so again if you are not running it as a root user you need to write sudo in the beginning if you are running it as a root user then you may not need to write sudo in the beginning even if you write it it's not going to be create any problem so let's do it and hit enter let's start the installation okay so there seems to be some issue uh, I'm just going to open this script again and let me check if I copy pasted everything properly so let me remove everything and then I'm going to paste again now I'm going to run this again okay so this time it's running it seems like previously there was some empty spaces or, or there was some extra character probably in the beginning and that was creating some issues okay so now telegraph is successfully installed and started so we can see the status by doing system ctl status telegraph dot service hit enter now you can see telegraph is successfully started now again if you are on a different operating system you can click on this link which is steps to install telegraph and once you click on there it is going to redirect you to telegraph website and there you will be able to see the steps for other operating systems so you can follow the steps if you are on different operating systems from here okay so now let's come back to telegraph again now here if you see there is something called telegraph dot 
conf file so this is the file which stores all the configuration which is related to telegraph so this is a place where you define where the output should be sent to okay so now here if i do vi and i'm going to edit this configuration file so if you see i just checked the status and under the status of the telegraph we also got the path of configuration a file so from here i have copied the configuration file and i'm going to open it in vi editor and here you can search with influx and here this is the url which you need to uncomment so i uncommented this line and then here on this uh, system because we are running uh, influx db also on the same machine okay so here i don't really need to change the ip address okay but if you are using telegraph on a different system and influx db on a different system you need to change the ip address to the correct ip address of the server where influx db is running in this case i can either leave it as it is or if i want i can actually give the ip address of influx db server so in this case it is 10.128.0.4 this is the same ip address which i shown you in the beginning this is ip address of this server okay so that's all we need to do now we can save and exit and also i'm going to restart telegraph because we have just made changes in the configuration file so whenever you make any changes in the configuration file you should always be restarting telegraph so command to restart telegraph is very simple you can do system ctl and you can use restart and then you can type telegraph dot service hit enter it is going to restart and then you can type status again to see the status now if you notice okay so if you notice here it also says started the plugin driven server agent for reporting matrix into influx db okay so that is a good indication that telegraph is also sending data to influx db okay so now we have completed uh, setup on uh, this host name or basically this ip address which is 10.128.0.4 now i'm going to do the same on a different machine which is 10.128.0.5 so by now you will be comfortable with the steps so remember on this server we just need to install telegraph influx db is a database and we need database only on one server and we need telegraph on all the servers which we want to monitor okay so again you can refer to the architecture so here you see this is the server which is 10.128.0.4 where we want to install influx db and remaining servers we just want telegraph and since we also want to monitor this server so that's why we are also installing telegraph on this server okay so now let's go to here and i'm going to create telegraph.sh script again and again we can go back and copy the steps and then we can paste it here again uh, here again i guess that it has not been copied properly so i'm just going to remove it and also we can comment this line and remaining all looks okay to me and however there are extra spaces so i'm just going to remove those extra spaces okay so that's all and this is the line which was a comment line so i have just put hash in the beginning which means this is going to be treated as a comment and then you can save and exit 
and now again you need to run it as a root user so I'm going to switch to root and then we can run this command again we need to make sure this is having execute permission so let me change the permission first and once the permission is changed now we can execute this script Again, please notice the IP address of this server is 10.128.0.5 and the server where Influx database is installed that is having IP address of 10.128.0.4 okay so just make a note of that so if you are being prompted for any confirmation just press Y and hit enter and now we already have telegraph successfully installed so I'm going to see the status of telegraph service by using system ctl status telegraph dot service and this is going to show that telegraph is running now I need to modify uh, this configuration file because in the telegraph configuration file I need to tell the correct IP address of the system where InfluxDB is installed okay so again in this configuration file search for influx And here I'm going to write the correct IP address which is going to be 10.128.0.4 this is the IP address where we have influx database installed okay and I have already done the installation on third machine in order to save some time so this is the third machine I have already done the telegraph installation here okay so yeah so now we have implemented this now we have telegraph installed on all the three machines and we also have influxdb installed on the same machine where grafana is installed